so we will discuss now the different type of leakage currents and if its effect on the reading the total current is the sum of these currents leakage current is shown as one current it is the current that can be measured directly by micro ohm micro uh, ohm meter or in term of mega ohms at a particular voltage by means of a mega insulation tester some instruments offer the alternatives of displaying a measurement in term of current or as a resistance because the total current depends upon the time that the voltage is applied ohms law r is equal to applied voltage divided by the leakage current only holds the theoretically at an infinite time that implies waiting forever before taking a reading it is also highly depending dependent upon uh, starting from a base level of total discharge the first step in any insulation test is therefore to ensure that the insulation is completely discharged so um, basically uh, the these uh, currents uh, are uh, in the, uh, introducing some uh, error and there are some techniques to avoid it for example we are using a guard terminal to minus the surface leakage current for example we can uh, take the uh, reading uh, for uh, we can inject basically a uh, cable for a longer time so that it can charge and then we can get our reading so these are basically some methods to uh, uh, ways to bypass the uh, uh, or to get the correct reading so if you want to get the correct reading so you have to wait for uh, a cable to charge completely so that the charging current can be reduced to minimum or zero uh, so, but there are some cables which are very long and it's difficult to wait for it. Maybe you need to wait for hours. So, we will see in, in that cases which technique we can apply to overcome and test the release. Thank you very much.